Terra Luna Classic, the cryptocurrency. If you guys are bullish on this crypto over the long term, hit the thumbs up button on this video. What I want to do in this video, guys, is give you guys the latest update of Terra Classic. So exactly where are we up to with the CZ of Binance Burn? Where are we up to with some of these numbers of Terra Classic? And importantly, I also want to focus in on the burn of Terra Classic. Where are we up to? How do we get these numbers bigger than what they already are? That's exactly what we're going to talk about. And you know, how potentially can the price go up for this crypto? So if that sounds good to you guys, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into this video. So guys, right today, the crypto market is actually up. So, you know, things change rapidly in cryptocurrencies. So one day it may be raining, it may be hailing, there might be lots of FUD in the market. And the next day, the crypto prices are going up. So you guys can see right here, a lot of the cryptos are actually up in the green. XRP, shining star in the crypto market today, up 29%. So comment down below if you guys hold any XRP currently. And uh, so how are we tracking with the overall crypto prices today? So if we have a look at this, we're sitting at around 19,000. 300 for Bitcoin, so up 3.4% in the last 24 hours. And the rest of the crypto market is actually kind of trickling up to some degree. So XRP again, crushing it in the crypto space. And where is Terra Classic sitting right now? So we're sitting at number 34, holding just in the last 24 hours. So down roughly about 1.2%, uh, but up 2% in the last hour or so. Um, but overall, Terra Classic, in my opinion, there are still some exciting things happening for this crypto. We also just got wind into that, you know, eToro is supporting the 1.2% burn for Terra Classic, which is good. And uh, on top of that, you guys are also aware of, uh, you know, we want to update from CZ to Binance. So if you guys want an update from CZ to Binance about what he's going to do about the 1.2% burn, guys, hit the thumbs up on this video. I've been putting out tweets over on Twitter trying to draw attention to this issue. But you guys can see right here the tweet from the Luna Classic DAO. CZ in the past has said their blockchain needs to implement the burn first. And uh, guys, what's happened? we've implemented the burn we're going to check out the burn numbers soon but again what do we want right now we want a response from CZ to Binance so I don't think this guy can just come into the crypto you know provide all this commentary talk about you know putting a burn on the blockchain first and then just disappear into the ether, so to speak. We want to update from CZ to Binance directly from him about whether he wants to put a 1.2% burn on Luna Classic and uh, that would be good. So I think it's important for him to, you know, communicate back to the Luna Classic community what he's going to do on the Binance exchange. And if we do have a look at some of the numbers for Binance today, 158 million in volume. And again, if we get a 1.2% burn on Terra Classic on Binance, guys, I'm definitely going to take that because that's going to help to eat up the supply of this crypto. Importantly, guys, how are we tracking overall with the burn up of this crypto? So if we have a look at this website right here, Terrarity, we are up to around 4.649 billion in total Luna Classic burnt so far. And uh, so how much of that? 4.2 billion is manual sends to the burn address. But have a look at this. 441 million has been burnt with tax. So this is the important number right here on the screen. And why is this important? Because this one is highly, highly scalable. So I have been talking to you guys about, uh, you know, why this is important. And uh, the main reason this is important is because it is going to be tied to the Luna Classic chain. So we're nearly up to, you know, crossing the half a billion level currently. Can it get to 1 billion? I think absolutely we can get up to 1 billion. But again, if we ever want to see the crazy price gains for Terra Classic, we do need to be looking at uh, getting more DeFi activity. So I think there's an incorrect mindset out there. You know, we do want, we definitely want a 1.2% burn from Luna, uh, from CZ of Luna Classic over on Binance.com. However, if we don't get that, what is important for Terra Classic? And this kind of trumps the Binance burn over over the long term is you need to give people enough incentive to actually go onto the Binance exchange, take and drain the wallets of uh, the hot wallet of Binance and, uh, you know, incentivize them to actually send that Terra Classic over to the Terra Classic chain. So you guys can see right here, Binance hot wallet, number one holder in the Terra Classic community. I have seen lots of people talking about, you know, if Binance doesn't do the 1.2% burn, this is the end of Terra Classic. Guys, I don't think that's the case because the reason is, you know, Binance, you, anyone can go into Binance and, uh, you know, move their crypto around. And the reason what we do want to see is we want to see people, you know, moving their crypto from Binance 
onto the terror chain so then they can make the most of the terror chain activity so what i mean by that is participate in play to earn games participate in DeFi, participate in anything that actually is in their self-interest as well so remember in crypto guys it is the journey towards financial freedom on the channel and if you want to subscribe you can uh but you know everyone is self-interested as well so you do want to uh you know be making trades that are in your favor you do want to be making money and uh, again for terra classic in my opinion to go up over the long term you know the developers or new developers who are launching new cryptos on terra classic they need to give people enough incentive to you know make money on the terra classic chain either through DeFi, new crypto projects play to earn games things like that that will actually incentivize people who have crypto on on Binance to actually start to move their money off Binance and then go on to the Terra Classic chain. So that is a high level thought. Let me know if you guys understand that, if you guys follow my logic. If you disagree, that's fine. Comment down below. I'm always open to our feedback as well, but that is what I'm thinking for Terra Classic. And uh, on that note as well, if you guys want to get some free bonuses on crypto exchanges, one in particular that has been supportive of uh, Luna Classic is MEXC. You guys want some free bonuses, you guys want to trade around, go long and short on the market, you can sign up with MEXC or any of those crypto exchanges right there. But I think that's important for Terra Classic. Right now though, what is important to note though for this crypto is guys it is going well though so right now we actually don't have too much activity built out on the terra classic chain but what i am expecting what i am predicting for this crypto is again the more DeFi activity the more projects that come online this number here can potentially explode and that's what i want to see with this crypto so guys i want to see that big explosion and uh, i want to be led by real utility in the crypto space over the long term but that's a bit of an update for luna classic on the market for today if you guys enjoy these smash the thumbs up button let me know and we'll continue them on the channel thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one crypto zeus signing out